Everybody ready? Yeah. Uh, just open and say, what do you think of your team? Today? You know, I was proud of our resilience, Patrick. I thought uh, two things I talked to the dressing room about. I thought the goal line stand in the second quarter was big. I said, you know, that, that, that's, that's, I, that was, I was proud of that. And I was proud of when they scored, our offense came back and answered back and scored. And we did that a couple of times. I felt like, you know, we kind of, you know, kind of lulled a little bit in that third quarter, but I thought, you know, I thought the Black Hats played physical about the middle of the third to the fourth quarter and just kind of closed out the deal. Certainly, uh, we had our chances, you know, at some plays. That second drive of the game, go up seven, we're driving. I think we had the personal foul and stuff we got to clean up. You know, that was a drive that was going. And then we had the run down here by Quadro, we put the ball on the two yard line. We don't get nothing out of that. Uh, of course, there's a couple of plays that we just, you know, and that's what I told the team in the dressing room. And, and you know, we didn't punch it in the end because we just did the right thing. But I said we we could have left 21 or 28 points on the field, and that's something uh, I think you know we we just got to grow defensively, offensively each week, get better. I said that the first week, say with me. That's why I want to see this football team. I see a lot of really good signs, a lot of great signs, but. We just want to make sure our, our precision gets better each week. And so we're on that journey to get better every week. And uh, hopefully we'll take this off week and get some guys back healthy. You know, I'm anxious to get Tez and Julian and Delmond and some of those guys. we got Xavier's out. We'll get some of those guys back up and running, you know. So uh, hopefully we'll, hopefully this comes at a good time for us. How good is it that your first road game, three hours away, especially with the young kids, just being able to come right over here? How good? How do you think they well, get? Sometimes these road games, yeah, a flight sometimes lasts less than three hours, <laughs> yeah. so it, it might be about the same time getting back. But it is it is a close uh, geographic game for us, so that's good. And I thought our young kids adapted well. You know, I thought I thought we, you know, again I thought Edo played a really good game. I thought Quadra had a good game. You know, I thought uh, we did some really good things on both sides. You know. Uh, it was. I thought we were physical on defense. I thought we tackled well. I thought we pursued the ball hard. And, you know, and of course, I love the, the physicality of the goal line stand and things. So there's a lot of positives, but we know we want to be better each week. So that's what we're trying to work on. On that direct snap to Edo when he takes off the side there for the touchdown. Right. You kind of see that before it happened there. Right. I mean, did it set right. up perfectly for him? It did. It did. And that was something we planned on doing. Uh, this and it was good to get him the ball. Uh, you know, it was good for him. I think he had what over 200. And so it was good to, you know, Edo had an Edo day, so that was good to uh, see him. You know, say he just made, uh, you know, some great runs. You know, and that's one thing about Edo. You know, sometimes you think, oh, he's tackling, and he pops out. There he goes. He's down the sideline for 50. You know, so again, I thought, I thought on the whole, everybody played hard, and that, that's something I'm proud of. So we just got to keep playing hard and keep getting better. Did you call this a complete? Win? I mean, maybe other than the penalties. I call it a win. And a win's a win in this deal. You know, I, you know, certainly we know we can play better. And, 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 and that's our journey to play better. But, but a win's a win. And again, we knew, I, I kind of knew this morning, Jason, when I watched that Memphis, you know, Memphis beat UCLA. And then these guys, you know, they get an onside key, they got a chance to go tie Memphis up again. So I was like, I knew they're a much improved football. I knew they were a good football team. And then, you know, watching them pregame, I could tell that uh, they were a good football team. So we knew we knew we'd have a challenge. I, I don't think our guys, we came in here knowing this was going to be a fourth quarter football game. And uh, our guys fought and, and did what they had to do. When they scored, it seems like y'all came back the next possession. That, that was one of the <laughs> – that and the goal line stand are things that, as a coach, you take out and you're really proud of the fact that, you know, first and goal at the one and, and they didn't get it in and then – when adversity struck and we gave up the touchdown, our offense came right back and answered. So those things are things that you always kind of build on and you like to see in the football team. It just seemed last year there was a lot of up and down. Like one game your offense would be really good, your defense may not be so good. Next game your defense would be really good, your offense wouldn't be so good. But this is like three weeks in a row where offense, defense, and special teams, I mean, you got the – Muff punt recovery on special yeah. teams. Briggs had a few touchbacks tonight. Briggs, how about Briggs? He kicked it really mm -hmm. well. He, he boomed some kickoffs. You know, I love it. that's a it, Briggs is a that's a big difference for us. You know what I'm saying? Because he's kicking it out of the end zone, and you know we were kicking it on the 30 last year. So it was good to see him. And that special teams punt was a huge play. Felt like we had a chance on a few returns. We didn't we didn't we didn't take advantage of that. But but 
on the whole, I felt like we did play well special teams. Right? It just feels like you've got the team kind of doing like this. Well, we, we're, this football in life, it's all a journey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? we got to be ready. Each week's a different fight, a different battle. But I think they played hard for three weeks, Jason. That's something I'm, I'm very pleased with. But I, I think we know, we talk about the dress room, we want to get better each week. It's a journey. How about uh, the Darius Harrison's play tonight? Just yeah, Mooch and I thought those defensive line did a tremendous job. We put a lot of pressure on them tonight, and they answered the call. You know what I'm saying? I felt like from that late middle third to fourth quarter, I think I could just look in the D lineman's eyes. I, I could sense that uh, they were they were on lockdown mode. You know what I'm saying? So it, it was it was uh, it was good. Those guys just kind of took it over there at the end. So uh, you know, again, they they played up. A heck of a game. They played, a, again, a true nasty bunch game. They went out there and they played physical and they played 60 minutes of hard-nosed football. Thank All right, thanks, Coach. Have a good one, boss.